What's up guys, it's Argon657 here today. I'm bringing another Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. This one's going to be against Joey Fontaine. His channel's in the description below. So uh, today we have an RU tier battle and uh, it was a pretty good battle. Um, yeah, so um, he does have a lot of Pokemon. Um, I mean, he has uh, Fortress, which can just set up rocks, spikes, and T-spikes, although um, yeah, he does have the um, Steelix that could have the Stealth Rocks, um, but I do have my Blastoise to Rapid Spin the Hazards, so um, he does have the, uh, what was that, the uh, Salazzle, uh, he has the Kingdra, I'm not sure what kind of set it is, um, yeah, this is an old battle by the way, so, um, but yeah, anyways, um, I do have my banded Zygarde, which I can just put thousand arrows on everything, you know. And, um, something's gonna either take a lot of damage or just fly out and die from the uh, thousand arrows. Although, I'm not sure about the Garbo, not Garbo, the, uh, Gardevoir. Uh, but I do have a Bronzong in the back, so, um, but, uh, yeah, let's get on with the battle. So, um, I figured you might want to have a fortress as a lead. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, he's gonna sound his fortress. And it uh, looks pretty good in uh, shiny form, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna lead off with my blast blitz. And, um, this is literally the only thing that I could lead off with that I could potentially beat this fortress 1v1 in. And successfully get rid of the uh, hazards. Now, um, I can go for the skull burn and uh, get the. Uh, uh, not skull burn, actually, this is a different kind of blast blaze. I'm thinking the other blast blaze was called rapid spin, ice spin, and dark blaze. Uh, but he's gonna set up the uh, spikes. Um, he's gonna withdraw. Um, he's gonna go to his Snorlax. And, uh, I am, I think I predict him to switch out and go for the rapid spin. Yeah, I go for the rapid spin just to get the, uh, hazards out of there. And I can, um, go for the aura spear. But I'm sure Snorlax, being a specially based, um, naturally bulky, uh, uh, Pokemon, it's able to just eat that, uh, aura spear up so well. Uh, but he's gonna go to his fortress. Uh, I'm thinking he's gonna go into his fortress as Duck Battle because uh, he doesn't really have another opportunity to set up the spikes and stuff like that, or the key spikes. Um, so he's gonna have to go to his steel and get up his rocks. So uh, now he's gonna go to his Kingdra. And uh, this is looking pretty bad, but um, um, I am gonna stay in. I wanna see what he wants to do. He's gonna go for the sub. I'm gonna go for the Dark Pulse, and, um, yeah, um, I am going to break his Substitute, uh, but at this point, I think he's sub focus Energy, which is very bad, because, um, as you can see, he has a Dragon Mew, which kind of, uh, which definitely, uh, confirms that he's likely, um, sub focus Energy, uh, can just set, and Dark Pulse is gonna do uh, a pretty sizable chunk. I mean, it does around half. So uh, I'm gonna go to my bronze on because I know that he's at minus two. So I'm free to just come in with my bronze on and also set up my rock. So um, as you can see, and I'm also max special defense. Plus he's at minus two, and now he's at minus four. So I know full well he's not gonna be able to do anything to my bronze on. Bronze on. Uh, I am specially defensive um, Bronzong, so um, everything's looking pretty good so far. But now he's going to go to his Steelix, and it's like one of the few Pokemon that could take on Bronzong uh, one v one. However, um, um, although actually not really, uh, Bronzong could sort of beat Steelix. If it's, I don't know. Um, honestly. Actually, never mind. Steelix and Bronzong can't really do anything to each other. In the long run, I mean, Steelix 
can't hit it with Earthquake, and Bonzong um, can't really hit it too hard with Gyro Ball. Even if it has Earthquake, Earthquake would do nothing to steal it. Even if I had the Earthquake on the Bonzong, um, it, it would have done like around 15-20% like because Steelix is massively bulky. Now, I do decide to go for the Aura Sphere instead of the Rapid Spin because I want to weaken the uh, Steelix a bit. Because Steelix is uh, a bit of a nuisance to my team uh, because he can take a bunch of hits uh, from my Pokemon. So, um, he's going to knock out my Blastoise, which is fine. I'm going to go to my... Uh, um, Noivern, which is called Glyscore, but, um, I do have the Flamethrower, and, um, yeah, he's gonna end up switching out, and I'm gonna end up playing, let's see, once again, going for the, uh, Flamethrower, I believe, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Flamethrower, because I know that, that, uh, the school Axe is not gonna be able to take, uh, another hit after, um, after that flamethrower, and I'm gonna go for the hurricane. Thankfully, I don't miss, and I'm able to knock out the small So that's pretty good. Uh, but now he's gonna go to his Gardevoir, which is definitely choice guard because you don't just switch in on a Noivern. And I just hit it with the uh, hurricane um, and get some massive damage. So that definitely tells me that he's scar. However, I don't have a good switch, in, so I'm not sure what he wants to do. I'm not sure if he's going to predict me switching to like bombs, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. Um, so I just let my Northern die and I'm just going to go right into my bombs on. And um, yeah, everything's looking pretty good so far. So he's going to end up withdrawing his Gardevoir. He's going to go to his Steelix. And um, yeah, um, at this point, um, I can't really do anything to Steelix, but then again, the Steelix can't do anything to me now. I do double switch predicting him to switch out because it's very obvious he's going to switch. Um, and I figured he would switch into Steelix so I can go to my Zygarde and get some momentum and I could go for the Thousand Arrows. He has no searching at this point. Um, I do get rid of... Uh, yeah, I got rid of some of his bulky Pokemon. Um, well, eh. And, well, yeah, I, I got rid of Snorlax. And I got rid of a um, Steelix, so he doesn't have any more switchings, and he has a Gardevoir, which is Choice Scarf, because it helps bed my um, Neuburn, because, um, yeah, so it's Choice Scarf. Um, and now I'm going to go to my uh, Bonzong, uh, expecting him to go for the Moonblast, uh, but he's going to go for the Healing Wish. So that is uh, a pretty good move on his part. But, um, yeah, he's gonna go for the healing wish. Um, and I think he's gonna try to recover a Pokemon. Uh, let's see. He's gonna go to his Kingdra. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go, uh, heal up his Kingdra. And, uh, yeah, this is actually looking very bad for me because now I'm gonna have to, um, sack a bunch of Pokemon. I think I'm gonna have to sack one or two mods just to take out his Kingdra. Uh, so I'm gonna have to switch out because I cannot do anything with this Kingdra. I'm gonna go to my Rose Raid, which is faster than Kingdra naturally. Um, I am running max speed over here, so I'm gonna go for the... Um, he's gonna end up going for the Substitute. And uh, I think I'm gonna go for... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Slug Bomb. And it is going to break the Substitute, so that's pretty good. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to hit me with the... Uh, Draco Mina, but he ends up going for the focus energy, so, uh, this is looking pretty bad, uh, because, yeah, actually, never mind, um, it's not too bad, because now I'm gonna be able to pop my Z-move, and I wanna make sure that this Kingdra does not, um, uh, get any critical hits, so I'm just gonna knock him out with a Bloom Doom, so, um, with the Z Leap Storm, and, um, yeah, Kingdra's gone, and, uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about it anymore, um, Steelix is gone, um, but now he can go to his Salazzle, and just Revenge Kill with, uh, Fire Blast or Flamethrower, whatever move, uh, he wants to go for, um, he's most likely gonna go for the Fire Blast, and, uh, at least he doesn't miss, so he's gonna be able to knock out my Rose Raid, so that's fine, 
Um, I don't really care about Rose Raid at this point. I just needed to uh, get rid of that Kingdra. So now I'm going to go to my Choice Scarf, uh, Tyrantrum, and um, I'm going to go for the Earthquake. There's really no reason to go for the Head Smash. I'm uh, just risking this again. Earthquake is more than enough to take out the Solazzo. So uh, that was a pretty good battle. It ended up being a 3 0 victory in my favor. So. Uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a comment below, do that like button, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.